Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Tiana and Nathan, and we are back with another video. If this is your first time here, a very special welcome to you. And we hope and pray that by the end of this video or midway, you will make that decision to subscribe and turn your post notification bells on so that you never miss another upload from us. Please remember to click the like button and comment down below if this is a video that you think you know your friends or somebody you know would appreciate please remember to also share it on your social media um, platforms as you can tell from the title we'll be talking about um, step parents and children is it okay for your partner to scold their child so if that's a video that you'd want to hear more of please stick and stay cue intro <laughs> This video is a very emotional topic for both Tony and I because we share different views. Yes, I do not believe that it is okay for your partner to school their child on certain levels, right? But Tony, on the other hand, believes that it should be okay, and we're going to share our reasoning. So, I'm gonna go first to say why I'm not comfortable. You understand with it and being done the the, th the word that we that we were talking about wasn't school we we're talking about discipline the child okay so use that word disciplining yes go ahead the same thing word. no two different so all right so the first the first i scored my absolutely the first point well, i have discipline first all right so the first point i have is um individuals might have different styles of discipline right um how i might deal with a situation you might not necessarily the partner might not necessarily agree and so there's a conflict there because i'm saying i'm just going to take away her tablet but you think that i should or the partner when i say you I mean the partner the partner thinks that i should ban her from her tablet for the whole week and she must write lines and you know whatever they think i don't agree so that's the first thing we might just have different disciplinary strategies um if it's if it is a case where the partner doesn't even know the child long enough to know what will work for them and what won't, it makes it even more difficult because you don't know that if you do that, you, it, you're, going, you're going in for a long, drawn out, um, unnecessary outcome. The, the child might rebel and that leads me to my second point. Based on how the partner school the child or discipline the child, the child might rebel and everybody will most people know what how a rebelling child looks you know them are back chatted they know uh, you they know why it's, they don't have respect for you just because there's that disconnect in terms of you're not my father you're not my mother you're not my parent why are you disciplining me why do you have a say in what I do and this depends too on the age of the child some children the older you get is the more difficult it becomes because those children those older children are already forming an opinion as to who has the right to discipline them anyway and you know that might cause a little problem um, the third point I have here is that the child might devel develop hate um, for the partner right because they might say you should not do this and you know and that can cause a problem because if the child don't like the partner it leads me to my next point um the ch no it doesn't lead me to my next point but the next point that i have here is that the, ch the partner or the child might feel as if you are putting one over the other so the child if 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 the parent agrees with the disciplinary measures of the of the partner which is not necessarily what they would do but they might agree with it the child might feel like oh mommy i put x and y over me 
and if it is that I don't agree with the partner the partner might think oh yeah I make pitney rule you yeah I make pitney decide how you know how to be scolded or how to be disciplined or if to be disciplined at all you understand um the next point is that uh, um conflict may destroy the relationship so the constant battle between who is supposed to um discipline what type of discipline and that sort of thing might cause a breakdown in the relationship with both the partner the partners and the child adult relationship you understand the next point i have here is that the other biological parent might not necessarily agree with the disciplinary strategies of the partner so i have a, my child has me and a biological parent but that biological parent obviously is not here but they're stony and that biological parent might not necessarily agree with the strategies the disciplinary strategies of my partner with the child so that is another issue um, um, the partner based on the situation what if it is a case where I agree with everything the partner say the partner might then begin to abuse the authority if you say okay anything I'm gonna say goes anyway and if the picnic ever dare face it, them just abuse them authority to say you're going to do this or you're not going to do that and that 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 without even consulting the parent to say look this happen are you okay with this being a recourse or um the repercussion and that sort of thing so and the last thing i have here is both partners might start life on them one you picnic come to me and say look here you know where your partner do the partner might start doing the same it depends i'm not saying that it is going to be this for any or every relationship but these are the things that can happen in a situation where we can decide how the disciplinary um the discipline this disciplinary actions are going to take form right so those are my nine points and I hold my position where I this I say that I don't think that partners should be able to scold your children. Tony. Okay, um all right, so my number one point discipline and beating is different, right? I'm not saying that you have, to, you have to allow your partner to beat a child. I'm not saying that. I'm saying discipline and beating is different. Step parent discipline and set bound boundaries. If a case where, all right, that, that's a normal point. Because if I say anything else, it's going to go back to go back to one of my other points, right? That's one point. Two. When a step parent is not allowed to discipline the child, the child feels as if he he or she can do whatever they want and it's okay. Because of a case where, because children are very smart, they can tell if their parent or their mother or their father is okay with the the other party or the partner doing anything so if the child realizes that hey my mother doesn't allow this they are not going to listen to anything the other party has to say because guess what they know that my mother is going to say Pick something up. about it so yeah that's that's number that's number that's my number two point number three a child cannot grow without order and discipline Therefore, whether or not the child has a biological, as a other biological parent in their life, the step parent is still still has a role to play once the child lives with them. Because again, it I'm not saying that I'm not saying that hey, you have to allow your partner to, because again, you must know the type of partner or the type of person you've been around your child, right? And a case where you feel like your child is going, your partner is going to be abusive to your child, then what is said to have the partner around the child then? Right? You must know the type of you must know the type of child you have and the type of partner you have. Because some children are very smart. Like I didn't have a lot of points because again, this topic is very personal. It's very personal, right? And <laughs> I have a lot to say. But sometimes I just prefer not to say it because guess what? At the end of the day, I am not going to 
overstep my boundaries, right? So me just feel like say, me really have much to say. But again, what I believe is that it all goes right back to the child realizing what's happening, right? And if I, I'm going to talk for myself. Is I if I cannot discipline a child that I have under my care, then how is that going to work? It does, I'm not saying, hey, I'm going to beat the pin. No, because I don't believe in that. I think there are other ways of discipline. And Tian have a point to say that um, different style of discipline doesn't... Say, uh, the, parent might, the two partners may have a different style of discipline. That's true. They might have a different style of discipline. But at the end of the day, if it's a case where you have two biological parents, two biological parents still have a different style of discipline, so that does not... That is not, I don't think that's a point to say a step parent can't discipline because each person have a different way of doing things. If you have a mother and a father that's a biological parent to the child, they, are, they grow up differently. Their parents discipline them differently, so they're, they're both going to have a different style of discipline. But that's where communication comes into play. That's when you listen to the other partner or listen to what they have to say because sometimes the child might not behave a certain way around their parent around their their actual parent right their biological parent they might don't behave a certain way around them like them burn and them brave like everything is okay but once a, once the parent is out the way and the other part part is there they may behave differently you understand and that's that all that that that's all that's sometimes the case in a lot of things right so you know the type of the, the type of child you have right and the case where you realize that you are doing this and obviously it's not working you can try a different way of doing things like there are always different ways to do things right and it's it's I put a different I have a different point when when a, when a, when a step parent is not allowed to discipline a child in a case where the, ch the, the step parent will say to the child okay do this number one it's nothing to harm the child Number two, you're not telling the child to do anything, but you're telling the child to do something that you think are is something that is it's nothing harmful. It's nothing out of the way. The child doesn't want to do this. They run to the mother, the father, mommy, daddy, I don't want to do this. Then you're going to be like, okay, don't do it. When at the end of the day, the other part party just said they're not supposed you're you don't try to understand why the other party said that it's a case where because you decide that you don't because you don't want to do this you don't have to do this remember it's nothing harmful it's nothing to harm the child you're not beating the child you're not tripping up a child and tell the child yes, to do yes, this yes 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 they keep repeating that it's not harming the child so is it that because it's not harming the child it is okay for anything we say the child to just do there's the child doesn't have a right to say xyz or whatever whatever no i'm not saying that so yes sir not I'm not I'm not um the refuting or the, the yeah, that's, what, that's exactly what you're not doing. Not the future point, but that's why you make exactly your point clear. That's exactly what you're doing, Tiana. You know? <laughs> so don't why you make your like point you're clear. That. I'm making my alright, for example, let's give an example. The child might alright. One example. The child um has something to eat. They give the child something to eat. You know the child is hungry, but just because she do, or he or she doesn't want this particular thing, you say the child, it's just a little bit left back in the plate, just finish eating. The child doesn't want to eat it. The child then goes to the biological parent and say, I don't want this, and I'm not, I don't want to eat this. The biological parent knows the child is hungry. They know the child is going to want something else. But this is what is there, and it's just a small amount of food that's in the plate. Why not just is not why not just allow the child to eat it? Do, so the child doesn't eat it now, and then now the child come back to you looking at you like, my mother just said enough to eat that. Just the eye, just the eye contact of the child with the child come in, just look for you and serious up the face and put on the plate and gone. Just little like things. I want to read just little, this. Just, I'm, I'm just talking, just oh, little things, really just little things like that, like the thing that you may think is very, very small, makes a big impact, just a little small, because the child doesn't want, just want to see a leap hole to just 
seed trait. And that's just the facts. So why have why have why have somebody in the household, an adult in the household, that doesn't have a say in anything at all? That makes no sense. Because then the child is going to feel like I can step over this person. You can't even talk to the child too rough because those short at my child. Like six scenarios like that happen and then the child was like, My mother say enough to shout after me. You know I shout at us at all. Me go tell my mother say I shout out for me. Like things like that, that scenarios like that does happen. Yeah, but I mean those things tie into all of my points as I was saying. All of a sudden now people are like but what hap happened in a scenario so I don't understand how do you safeguard against any of these things anyway right now that you heard my points viewers and subscribers you heard Tony's point right um this is this particular topic is very real to us because I don't like when anybody school my child because of the reasons I stated your way might just not be the right way once upon a time in terms of getting my child to do certain things me used to think say for bust our ass and for shut off and rough her up mm -hmm. is the only way to go but I realized that it does not work for her there are some things that you can do and some things that you can't do you understand so my only thought is that I don't want my child to feel as if she's being abused or whatever that but just there are, there are just certain things that you you try to tread lightly on it's not that oh my don't want about it that's not even it it's just that you believe that you want your way to be recognized and to be the way for your child I know this son a way and people are gonna come for me but my, my no know may I try to say it maybe I'm not bringing it across clearly Tony raised some points and I wanted to find out from him if these are real situations where it's a case where she like eat my daughter was eating something and uh, met she said she don't want more and she come to me after Tony said she eat it and me said she don't eat it. I want to know if that was a real situation because in a situation like that, that is minor. If the child said our belly full, she don't want this anymore. What if, what if you know the child if, belly is not because but, as soon as so the Oh, you know, so the child belly not full. They were eating the thing all along and there's just a little bit leaving there. A little bit leaving there. I mean, let me tell you, for me, I just believe that certain things are not worthy of a big excitement if the picnic say i look i want a piece of such is left like this morning she was eating her breakfast and one planting left and i said she shouldn't want it but just take it out i don't think that need a force for say eat it eat it eat it uh, uh. she got a lot of things to eat and maybe she just reach our capacity even if i want piece of such is left and a planting that's another fear go stress them out and say eat it eat it, eat it uh. So I'm not understand that. That's why I was asking if those scenarios were real. Anyways, guys, you know, um, you know your child. You know what she does and what she doesn't. You know sometimes she don't want. She want. She hungry. She doesn't want the food. She just don't want a part of that food to eat. But that's okay. Isn't that okay? Even with us as adults, you're hungry, but you just don't want this to eat. That happened with me. Let me tell you. You see, when there are certain things that you as a parent. Yeah, you can understand because enough time me hungry and there are things here for me to eat but I just don't want that I want KFC or I want pizza but there's food within the household it can happen to children as well and I like say is it that is every time that you want something to eat and there's something she wants something else and she get that something else there the point is you That's can always the case. always the case yep. Guys, we're going to end the video here on that note. <laughs> but I don't know about all of that. I don't know about all of what Tony is saying, but we're going to talk about this off air. But um, if you are in a relationship with somebody that is not your child's biological parent, just let us know in the comments how you feel about that partner disciplining your child, to what extent, you know, where's the cap, how far can the person go, is there any boundaries at all can they just do whatever they want just let us know in the comment section thank you so much for your support and for watching until the end 
um until next time this is tiana and me fine saying peace love and blessings we're out